Now then, the Foreign Secretary William Haig has arrived in Sri Lanka today ahead of this week's Commonwealth uh, Summit. He voiced serious concern about the treatment of the Channel 4 News team there and raised it with the country's Foreign Minister. On the third consecutive day, our team was met by protests as they attempted to travel to the north of the island, where a bitter civil war ended four years ago and human rights abuses are still alleged to take place. A mob stopped their train at a station on the way north. The team had been heading from Colombo to Kilinochi when the train was stopped at the city of Anuradhapura. Our foreign affairs correspondent Jonathan Miller reports now from central Sri Lanka. Auto rickshaws at dawn. We bolted from our hotel for a dash across Colombo, a vain bid to lose the state intelligence agents who've tailed us since we got here. Colombo Ford Station for the 0650 train to Kilinochi in the heart of the former conflict zone. We had been repeatedly told by the Sri Lankan government that we could travel where we pleased. The mostly Tamil northern province is the epicenter of the war crimes allegations against the Tamil Tiger rebels, but mostly against the Sri Lankan government, whose forces are accused of killing tens of thousands of civilians in the final weeks of war and of continuing abuse today. After four hours, we reached the ancient city of Anuradhapura when our train was mobbed. Protests have been prohibited in the run-up to the Commonwealth Summit, but this, the third we've encountered in three days. Again, Channel 4 accused of siding with the vanquished Tamil rebel army a banned terrorist organization. They want to stop us going north. This is a mob, but it's a very well-controlled mob, and they've actually only had a few hours' notice to actually get this little demonstration together. I've been trying to explain to them that I am actually quoted in today's newspaper as having been invited, invited by President Rajapaksha to visit any part of this country to see the progress that has been made. What a welcome! The protesters blocked the tracks. I tried to reason, but they refused to budge. President Rajapaksha has invited us to come and visit your country, but you are blocking the train from moving. No, this is the public protest. I understand. You are, you are, you are, you are creating problems in our country. We suspect the mob was tipped off by intelligence agents aboard our train. Well, there is absolutely nothing we can do here. The guard on the train is going crazy. He says the train is late. They're not letting us through. They say, go back to Colombo, go home. Back in Colombo, foreign ministers were gathering for Friday's summit. Human rights concerns over Sri Lanka have dominated the build-up. Today, reports that security forces prevented activists from the north attending a human rights protest in the capital. The Foreign Secretary arrived today. The British government has pledged to hold President Rajapaksha's feet to the fire. Unfettered access for British media, a key demand. News had reached Colombo off the rail blockade up north. As soon as I heard about what was happening with the Channel 4 news team, I took that up with, directly and personally with the Sri Lankan Foreign Minister. I've reminded him that, that such things put Sri Lanka in a bad light. And the, the importance is, is very great of the media having access to this meeting, to the country, to being able to report freely. So we will be making these points very vigorously over the coming hours. Two hours into the standoff up in Anuradhapura, Passengers from our blocked train were growing restless and switching trains. We gave an impromptu news conference explaining our journalism to people who'd clearly seen none of it. Who's seen the films? Who, who, raise your hand if you've seen those films. It turned out no one had. The Channel 4 filmmaker Callum McRae, director of those films, is interviewed by Sri Lankan journalists. All these people who've gathered here with, with their posters and with banners, how did you know we were coming? How did you know we were on the train? But on state TV tonight, he's cast as a supporter of the Tamil Tigers. The train blockade was covered, but Channel 4 denounced repeatedly.
Channel 4 Nalikavi Metro Eturu. In the end, we got off so that other passengers could continue their journey. We were hounded by the mob. Next week, Sri Lanka will assume the chairmanship of the Commonwealth, bound by its commitment to respect press freedom. Tonight, we've been informed that the government wants to protect us from what it calls undesirable elements. Exactly who they are isn't clear. Jonathan Miller, Channel 4 News, Sri Lanka.